this live. Maybe I can go to a different light. Is that good? Welcome. Good evening. We're really glad to see so many people here. Uh, my name is Mark Skinner. I serve as the executive officer for the University of Idaho here in Idaho Falls. And we are, we are thrilled to see so many of you. We recognize that we have uh, business leaders, community leaders, educational leaders. We see many people dressed in their Idaho Vandal gear. That's always wonderful to see. And uh, we'd like to uh, especially welcome uh, high school students that we've invited. We really wanted this to be an event for, for the community and for, for high school students. And um, we're, we're confident this will be a fun, fun evening. Uh, we, we'd like to welcome the faculty and students from the University of Idaho's Lionel Hampton School of Music. And, and I would actually ask that we'll do this several times tonight, but uh, especially the students. They left, I believe, very early this morning. and. Uh, they're tired, but they don't look it, and so we're thankful for their efforts. I would, I would also like to express gratitude to the Leland Beckman Foundation, who helped fund tonight's concert and allowed it to, to be free for all of us. And so a round of applause to the Beckman Foundation. And so it's my pleasure to uh, welcome to Idaho Falls the Idaho Brass Quintet, faculty members from the Lionel Hampton School of Music, on trumpet, Vern Sielert and Sean Butterfield, on horn, Jason Johnston, on trombone, Alan Gimberling, and on tuba, Lord, Tori Lawrence. Please enjoy.
Good evening. Thank you so much for coming. This is great to have this event and we're so excited to be here. My name is Tori Lawrence. I'm the director of the School of Music and I'm, I'm just so pleased that we're here. This started last summer. Mark and I were actually at a leadership breakfast together and he had this great idea of, you know, we need to do something down in Idaho Falls with the School of Music. And you might wonder, do we come down just for this? And we're actually here for a variety of performances in the next few days. The Idaho Music Educator Association, which is the group of all the music teachers in the state, have an annual conference. And that conference started today in Pocatello. So we were fortunate enough to have four of our ensembles invited to perform at this conference. And we have eight faculty members giving presentations, which means we had to figure out a whole lot of transportation with buses and vans and all kinds of great things. So we're excited to be here. Um, as he mentioned, these students left pretty early this morning. And this is how we're training them for the real world. You spend the whole day on a bus and you get on a stage you've never been on and, and here we go. So that's how we do it in the Lionel Hampton School of Music. Um, I just want to invite you at intermission and also after the concert, uh, there are materials out in the audience. If we have prospective students that want to learn more about the university, there are materials there for you and people that would be happy to speak with you. And then after the concert, we are, uh, the faculty and students will actually be out. We'd love to talk with alums and, and community members here uh, and just have a chance to kind of do a meet and greet afterwards. So please stick around if you'd like to. I also want to take just a moment and thank a few people. Um, I mentioned earlier, the Beckman Foundation helped to fund our travel down here, and we really appreciate their support. That's very meaningful, and we, it's wonderful. We couldn't have done it without their help. Um, I also want to thank the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences, which is the largest college in the University of Idaho, um, and that's the college that the School of Music belongs to, was also instrumental in helping get us down here. And our dean, Andy Kirsten, uh, he's in his second year as dean. He's absolutely fantastic, and he's been so supportive of us with events like this, so thanks to him. And then I do wanna just mention Mark Skinner. He has done so much to set this up. Um, he and his staff have worked so hard to arrange the facility and all the logistics that go into a concert like this, so thank you very much, Mark. We really appreciate all your help. Um, I wanna introduce, yes, yeah, please. I want to introduce to you our top band. This is the University of Idaho Wind Ensemble. It is conducted by our director of bands, Professor Alan Gemberling. So please welcome our wind ensemble. Thank you.
I just have to use a microphone. Thank you so much. How does it feel after a 10 hour bus ride? That's what it's like being a professional musician right there. Very good. And I flew here, so that's what... No, I didn't. I drove a real vehicle. Great to have everybody out. I think Tori and Mark uh, expressed the thanks to everybody that needs to be, but I hope they thanked you, did they? For being here? I mean, do we have any vandals in the audience at all? Wow. Some of you have mellowed in your old age. So. That first piece, uh, kind of a tribute to the Marine Band, Esprit de Corps, great uh, American composer, Robert Yeager. Another, what I feel is a great American composer, William Billingsley. He's uh, a former professor at the University of Idaho, um, before it was Lionel Hampton School of Music. He was a composition. Steve, do you remember him? Uh, yeah, okay. We have two Steves, good. Um, so he was professor of composition, trumpet. Uh, he did lots of things. An amazing musician and um, composer. And I, I hope you enjoy this next piece. I certainly do. It's probably the one piece I have played the most since I've been at the University of Idaho. I just, I just keep coming back to it, and, and I think you'll have fun with it. Tamasha, how, where he got that term, uh, he flopped open the dictionary, and it is an Anglo-Indian term meaning a celebration, a party, uh, maybe involving some ritual, uh, but it's a pageant, and it's, a, it's go vandals, I think, uh, all wrapped up into one. So this is Bill Billingsley's Tamasha.
Thank you very much. This next piece, composed by another brilliant professor at the University of Idaho, uh, Professor Dan Buckvich. How many know that name? Very good. Yes, he's still very much alive. So, sorry, Bill. Uh, anyway, he composed uh, a piece, was commissioned, uh, a work by uh, the family of a longtime music educator in Moscow, Idaho, uh, Walter Snodgrass. And um, Walt's, one of his favorite pieces was Robert Russell Bennett's Suite of Old American Dances. And it, it was some older dances. I, I didn't really look these up, but probably 19th century, early 20th century, cakewalk, a shoddish, a rag, a waltz, to name a few. And so Dan took that and kind of composed his own five movement suite of new American dances, and he titled it uh, Ballroom Portraits. And he took also a melody which Walt wrote, and you will hear that right at the beginning. We're going to do three movements of this. The first one, uh, Vernon and Irene Castle, who I guess created or, or the Castle Walk. I don't know what that is. Anybody care to demonstrate? <laughs> I suppose it's something like this. <laughs> um, but they were a, a great dance duo. Uh, uh, performed a lot on silent movies, so they were obviously early 20th century, and uh, as well as Broadway. And then we're going to jump to the fourth movement, and I'm sure you recognize the name, some of us, Steve, uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers, um, not so silent films, and uh, they're in incredible dancing. And so we will do that fourth movement and then close out with George Shorty Snowden, uh, the, who is accredited with uh, naming the Lindy Hop. So I hope you enjoy these three movements of Dan Buckvich's Ballroom Portraits.
love circus marches. It's also subtitled, A Trombone Ace. How can you go wrong?
Do we have some alumni? I know we have some alumni out there. Vandals forever, vandals for life. Stand up and join us in this next piece. Everybody can stand if you want. It is our state song, by the way. Alumni, let's see you. Where are you? Here we go. We're going to take just a short intermission, switch things out here, remove one group, and welcome our wonderful jazz band one up here under the direction of Dr. Vern Sealard. So relax, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you, everybody. Well, thank you for coming back for the second half. Actually, the second half is a little shorter than the first half, so you're going to enjoy this. This is a great group in front of you. I did not recognize appropriately the, um, the people here at Hillcrest High School. We really appreciate them opening up their doors to let us use this great facility. Their staff has been so wonderful doing sound and lights and everything, and the music teachers, drama teacher, have been just great to work with. So thank you so much to Hillcrest. <laughs> So before you is the fabulous Jazz Band One under the direction of Dr. Vern Sealert. And I invite you to again visit with us after the concert out in the lobby. And also stick around at the very end. We have a little surprise for you. So enjoy Jazz Band One, Vern Sealert.
Thank you very much. That was Nathan Topp back there on the trumpet. Nathan Topp. Andrew Aslett on the trombone. Playing the role of Count Basie on the piano, that was Eric Bowen. A lot of you may know Quincy Jones as like the, you know, pop music mega producer that he is. A lot of people don't know that he started as a trumpet player and an arranger, uh, and his first gig when he was a teenager was with, anybody know? Lionel Hampton, actually. So um, we're gonna continue now with uh, actually a brand new tune. You guys, this is a, a premiere of this piece. Um, I was very fortunate last semester to have a sabbatical and take some time to do some writing. And uh, this is one of the ones that, that uh, I did, so uh, we're gonna uh, play this tune, it's called Perspective. We're gonna hear from Eric Bowen once again on the piano, we're gonna hear from uh, Alex Lardy on the tenor saxophone, and anybody else? That's it, this is called Perspective.
Alex Lardy, once again, tenor saxophone. Eric Bowen on the piano. So if you look back in the back row of the band, we had this really good freshman uh, audition this year. He's a little gray, but, but uh, he plays good. Um, now, our regular first trumpet player, Bryce Call, who is a graduate student uh, who uh, will graduate this uh, semester, uh, his wife is expecting, and she is due any day. And the last thing I wanted was for his first baby to come and him to be 10 hours away on a band trip. So uh, Gary Gimberling back there has uh, so graciously agreed to play for us. So give a hand for Gary. Uh, we have a pretty big jazz festival coming up at our school in a couple of weeks, and we're very excited about that. One of the uh, guest artists that's going to be playing with this band is a, a drummer named Ignacio Barroa, and uh, he was Dizzy Gillespie's drummer for probably the last 15 years or so of Dizzy's career. Wonderful Cuban drummer, and uh, he sent us some charts to play with him next week, and this is one of them. And so we're going to try it out on you. This is his version of Night in Tunisia. We're going to hear, let's see... Uh, Arthur Sagami on the alto saxophone. We're gonna hear Nate Top one more time on the trumpet. And we're gonna hear Eric Bone on the piano. And a little bit of Stefan Jaraki back there on the bass. This is Night in Tunisia. Thank you. 
Kozugami on the saxophone. Nathan Top on the trumpet. Stefan Jiraki back there on the bass. Short bass solo, but really good. Also a big hand for our fabulous drummer, Mr. David Hagen. Uh, just late last year, we lost um, uh, another great jazz icon, uh, alto saxophonist by the name of Phil Woods, passed away. Um, and I first heard him, and a lot of you have heard him, actually all of you have heard him, if you've ever heard that Billy Joel song called Just The Way You Are. Anybody know that song? Yes, from the 70s. The alto, the pretty alto solos in that, in that song uh, was Phil Woods. And uh, playing pop music was not what he was known for. He was a bebop uh, Diet in the wool jazz saxophone player. But anyway, we'd like to uh, honor Phil Woods and play one of his compositions now. This is going to feature our saxophone section. It's also going to feature Mr. Ben Swanson a little bit on the trombone. This is called Randy.
So like Tori said, it's been a long day, but it's so fun to play for you guys. It really is. We're having a blast. We're going to play one more tune. Uh, this is by a great, great trumpet player, composer. Uh, really kind of took the Count Basie tradition. He was actually a trumpet player in Count Basie's band for about eight years. Uh, and then uh, took that that swing tradition, combining it with a lot of great uh, modern harmonic elements. His name was Thad Jones. Uh, and this is our last tune. Uh, this is going to feature uh, Nate Top. We're going to hear from Bowen Wolcott back there on the trumpet a little bit. We're going to hear Alex Lardy one more time on the tenor saxophone and Eric Bowen one more time on the piano. This is, uh, for all the five-year-olds in the house, this is called Don't Get Sassy.
Keep it going, Vandals. Do we have some parents of these fine musicians up on, that were up on this stage out there? Wave. Any parents? They're doing great. They're doing great. Thank you for entrusting them to us. We love having them. Let's see what else. This is your fight song. This is my fight song. This is their fight song. This is my university. This is your university now. This is our university. Thanks again for coming out, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, as always, good.